so. I hope so. Hey, yeah. what's up, Coach? I, I hope so. I think uh, I love the atmosphere. I was very pleasantly surprised to see what it was in Greenberg, but I certainly expect that there's going to be a lot of students that are very curious as to uh, what the Division One level brings, and, and also a warm up. I think everybody's looking forward to Pagula. I mean, that place is going to rock, and it is going to be not only a great place to watch the game; it's going to be a great place to, I mean, to build an atmosphere. So I think people will get that. I think they understand it, and they want to be a part of it from the start. So I'm looking forward to another just a great, great environment at this Greenberg. Every time you drive by that, I mean, you gotta, you, know, you gotta be getting pretty pumped up. I try every day. I promise myself, ah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna take this other turn to go by it. And every day I still do. And I look at it. And, you know, you, it's just uh, you can't, you can't help it. It's just, it's really exciting. It's gonna be such a beautiful building, and and I can't wait for the atmosphere. I mean, it's gonna be beautiful, but really, I can't, I can't wait to see that place rock. What's the first thing that goes through your mind when you see these jerseys? What was the first thing that went through your mind when you first saw these jerseys? Yeah, classic tradition. I love that. I, I think the Penn State gets away with that very. Well, I mean, they're very simple, classic uniforms. I love it. I love that. Did you have any input on the design? Yeah, a little yeah, bit. I did. A little bit. Was there yeah. was there a certain team you borrowed from or anything like that? Well, you know what? I, I think you know. I don't know how you feel, but you look at teams like the Detroit Red Wings and the Jerseys of the Toronto Maple Leafs and the simple ones. Shout out my than, favorite NHL team there. Uh, there you go. <laughs> rather than you know when you have some new teams coming in, they, they don't necessarily get away with the classic tradition sure. of hockey. And I think Penn State does, and, uh, and those are the jerseys I've always loved. You don't like the Predators mustard jersey? There you go. <laughs> Good point. I remember the, the Bruins ones from a, year, a few years ago. They had like the little brown stain very thing well, on the front. Very well. Yeah. Right, thanks a lot. Hey, you it's just a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. A little bit off the wall, but uh, talk a little bit about the development of youth hockey in this area in the year and a half you've been here. Well, it's very important to me. Uh, I have two boys that play youth hockey right now, and, and um, part of Terry Pagula's vision was to really improve the grassroots level here. So it's something I take very personally, and, and there's some great people involved in youth hockey in this area, and with the development of the arena, with, with the arena coming in, it's going to be monstrous uh, to the development of youth, of youth hockey. And, and right now, we don't have enough ice. So it, yeah. it's, it's uh, not only is it because it's new and exciting, but just the additional sheet is going to be extremely important for for the, the youth, not only hockey players, but figure skaters, etc., that want to excel on the ice. They get a chance to do that now. A guy like Max Gardner coming in from a mega program like Minnesota, you think he's got a little bit something unique to offer this team? I think he has something unique to offer this team because of who he is, not necessarily from where he came from. I think okay. he's a, obviously a great talent. He's a third-round draft choice for the St. Louis Blues. But he's a, he's a tremendous guy. I think he really impressed the entire team on his recruiting trip. Um, you know, we, t- we asked players what they thought of certain recruits. And, and I mean, they they just had such an overwhelming response to him as a, as a person. And that's that's probably the most exciting thing to me. When you look right. at the schedule, obviously American is the first team. Yeah. Is there any other schools that kind of pop out? Oh, yeah. Got it? Well, for sure. Wisconsin and Michigan State. I mean, those are some teams that we're going to play them. Year and it's really hard not to not to have that pop out at you and really look forward to that and see how it goes. The Union also is a program that went to the program before last year. Um, coaching the ECAC in Princeton, so I know the program. Great respect for their coaching staff and what they've done and how their team plays. So that is going to be a tremendously hard test for us. So those three off the hop, we're playing other very good programs as well, obviously, but uh, those are three right off the hop that are really special to me. When you were uh, building the schedule, I guess, did, did you use your old networks to kind of set up certain games? You know, you spoke about Union. Are there you other know, you know teams what, that are coming in? Or you're there, there was a few opportunities to do that, but scheduling is done so far in advance. Mm-hmm. Right. Actually, this the schedule that you're going to see this year was 85 90% of it was put together two years ago before I even came. <laughs> and and for right now, Bill Downey is doing a tremendous job uh, moving forward. So it's a science. It's, it's fun to see him do it. You mentioned Max. Are there any other newcomers? I mean, a lot of them are newcomers, but that we should, really should keep an eye out for this year. Yeah, there's more than several. I mean, yeah. If you look at the long Max, Max is very easy. He's got a lot of size. He's got skill. Along that, that standpoint, Casey Bailey is a guy who's from Anchorage, Alaska. He scored 30 goals in the BC League and then went to the USHL and followed that up with a 27 or something like that, which was, was he the last team. team. Pardon me. Was he here he was last in, year? No, no. No, he was in Omaha. Okay. Um, so he's along the same. He, he's a big guy. He's a big body. He has skill. He scores. We've got a little bit of a mean streak as well. Jonathan Milley is six foot four, two twenty. Who was uh, the leading scorer when his team won the national championship in Canada? Who's coming in as well? Who sort of fits that mold? Uh, you know, that's just that's just three of twelve. I think a lot of people are going to look at Matt Scoff, our goaltender, who was uh, extremely successful in the USHL. He's a Pennsylvania guy. 
um, if we were to be successful or have a chance to be successful against some of the divi well established Division One programs, I mean, he's going to have to be great. What have you seen from him so far since he's been here? Nothing. I haven't yeah, been on no, the ice for the at all. I mean, I'd, li I'd like to tell you, I haven't seen a thing, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you added Don Marone to the roster in the last couple weeks. What was the story with him there? He wasn't on the original group. and. Uh, well, he, w he really was. It's just something that we had to work out with the roster. Um, and uh, so it, it certainly it was he was someone that we, as a coaching staff, had, sure. had planned and hoped that it would work out with the roster. Was it a Title IX issue? It's... Along those lines. <laughs> All right. Could you add a lot of big bodies? You yeah. A lot of big bodies. I mean, do you think that's going to change your style of play a little bit? Are you guys going to be a more physical team? Uh, I think we have to be. I don't think it's going to change our style, but um, we, we still want to emphasize speed and, and creativity. And we think those guys do. We're not just getting big bodies for the sake of big bodies. I think that you are going to see on the back end, we want to get a little harder to play against. That's where Mark Annis comes into play. You haven't met him, but he's... 6'3", he's, he's 215, 220, and he really has a presence. Like He, he looks uh, a lot more intimidating, a lot bigger than he even is, which he's, he's a big guy, but he just has a tremendous presence on the ice. So he's someone that we identified as, as giving our back end a lot, uh, a bit of a bite, make it tougher to play against. But the other guys that you've met and you see the size, they also they can move, they can play, they can think. Since this is such a new team, are you worried about the cohesiveness going into the season or anything like that? I'm not worried about it, but it's a point of emphasis for sure. Um, still, it's extremely important. The foundation to us is the most important thing, um, and that's easy to say, but it's very difficult to do. It's something that takes constant attention. It's something that the coaching staff really uh, takes very seriously. So it's something I'm not worried about because I haven't seen anything that should should worry us, yet it's something that we, we emphasize every day, if that makes sense. Yeah. Are there points?